Merry Christmas. Hello and welcome to the inaugural Ultimate Planet Awards. I am Naomi and this is Katie and we run Ultimate Planet which incorporates Planet London, Planet PR and Marketing and Planet Publishing. We have been overwhelmed by the response and interest in the Ultimate Awards. When we first sought them up, driving on honeymoon around the west coast of America, we didn't dream they would be this popular. It only goes to show that the LBQ community is really on board with thanking and encouraging the grassroots people who support the community from within the community itself. Not only that, it's been a brilliant way to recognise how much talent, enthusiasm and passion there are amongst London LBQ women to create such fantastic opportunities for other women. With 300 nominations for 118 people and businesses and over 15,000 votes all over a two month period, this has always been a wide open race in many of the categories. Reflecting diversity is essential within our community to ensure that the wide range of interests are catered for and we were delighted by the wide range of nominations we received covering events and interests across the LBQ spectrum. And now on to the results. Art Show of the Year. And the winner is Elfest Spring Out Arts Programme with an honourable mention to Bar Whatever. Hi, hi, hi. We're Spring Out and we are delighted to win this award. Thank uh, you so much. That's back to front. Ah. Uh, it's our first award and we want to thank the Arts Council who funded the programme we put on at Elfest and all the artists and the volunteers who made it possible. And thanks to you mm. for voting. Thank Bye. you. Spring Outs have been running Elfest Arts Festivals up until this year. Three years, yeah. Done a really good job, so, you know, well deserved. Absolutely. Blogger of the Year. And the winner is Effie May. Well, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who voted for me and nominated me to begin with. It doesn't make the blog every day worth it. All the stupid, ridiculous things that I do on normally drunk. And yeah, I'm so glad people like the sex talk. Uh, unicorn. Tequila. So yeah. Cheers. Oh, look, it's another one. And did you know Effie May's got a new blog now called Femface? Lesbian Comedian of the Year. And the winner is Jem Brister. Uh, hello, Planet London Awards people. Um, I'm just recording this message to say thank you very much to anyone who uh, voted for me to win the prize of Best Stand-Up Comedian in, uh, well, let's just say the world, because that sounds better, doesn't it? Uh, I don't actually have an award at the moment. Uh, nothing's come through the post. Let's just call it this. <laughs> My remote control. Uh, I'm really delighted to have uh, won this, and I do hope all of you are having a fantastic time at the candy bar this evening. And uh, thank you very much again. Uh, good night. This was a really long category with lots and lots of nominations and high quality lesbian comedy and it's great to see that we're getting such a great platform for lesbian and women's comedy. Lesbian comedy event of the year. And the winner is Laughing Cows. Thank you uh, for nominating us. Thank you for voting for us and thank you for the award. Hopefully see you at a Laughing Cows night soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. We went to see Laughing Cows just the other day. Yep. Really good show. Really, really enjoyed fantastic. it. I mean, all the comedy shows that were nominated were great. Um, it was just it's, brilliant. It's just great to see the profile being raised of women's comedy. Dating service or network of the year. And the winner is the Brenda app. This was a category where, you know, it's great. There are so many apps for women. And it, it was, this one was just 
anyone's game right to the end. Absolutely, and we couldn't have had this category a couple of years ago. No, and I think that's a really good show that technology has come away and we can really work with it. Yep. Daytime event of the year. And the winner is L Festive. Hello Planet London and thank you very much to everyone who's voted for L Festive for Best Daytime Event of the Year. It's great to get recognised for this event as it's our showcase from the summer to see some of your favourite acts. Um, it was last weekend and it was a fabulous event. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's um, on our video on our website. But thank you to every single person who voted for us. Thank you. L Festive is a mini festival of L Fest, which runs yeah. in the summer, and it only happened again a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely. Um, really good little mini festival to give you mm -hmm. an idea Lots of the women the attending. One. Yes. DJ of the Year. And the winner is DJ Amy B with an honourable mention to Hug the DJ and DJ Sandra D. This category had so many DJs, mm -hmm. all very different, different styles of music. Yep. And again, one of those categories where it kept changing right to the end, anyone's game. And that was the last day really that <sighs> determined yeah. who won. Entrepreneur of the Year. And the winner is Elaine from The Glass Bar, with an honourable mention to Barbara Clara. And Elaine's been running events for women for a long number of years, and I think it's quite a well-deserved award, this one. Yeah. Lesbian-themed film of the year. And the winner is A Perfect Ending, with an honourable mention to Stud Life. It's really good that there was some amazing films in and this category. It's fantastic to see a British entry doing so well as Hope, well. I hope, hopefully it'll pave the way for more as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Festival of the Year. And the winner is Elfest. Wow, another award for Elfest. Thank you very, very much, everybody who's voted. This is down to you, 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 everybody who's voted. Thank you, thank you. Um, cheers. This festival has just grown over the, over the years and it's, it's doing incredibly well. And thousands of women are attending and it gets such a large range of musicians and artists and writers. I think it's popular because it has a very wide range of activities. Mm -hmm. Local network or forum of the year. And the winner is the LGBT Domestic Abuse Forum. Thank you Planet London for this fantastic award. The award is shared with 800 activists, individuals, practitioners working together to support LGBT survivors of domestic violence. It's a really important issue. And this award shows that the LGBT community also share the point that it's a really important issue. Once again, really thank you. It makes a big deal to the whole organisation. Thank you. It's great to see such an important issue being raised and recognised in an award ceremony like this. Definitely. Most creative club night of the year. And the winner is Ruby Tuesday, with an honourable mention to Chica Benita and Blue Monday. Uh, we, we would like to uh, thank Planet London people for voting as the uh, most creative club night of the year. I've forgotten everything I'm supposed to say. It's, it really means a lot to us because it's, it's by, you know, voted by the people who go out and come here to Ruby Tuesday. So, uh... Thank you! Thanks guys! Cheers. 
and the diversity of events in this category has blown me away. We've got live music, we've got dancing, we've got a DJ night. It shows that the scene itself is diverse mm -hmm. and that the women actually like that and that's really good. Something for everyone. Yes. Musician of the Year. And the winner is my personal favourite, Lucy Spraggan, with an honourable mention to Heather Peace. I can't believe that I won this award. I didn't know I was nominated. It is wicked and I'm really chuffed. Gonna go and write a song about it. Just like to say thank you very much to all the lesbians for voting for me. Um, goodbye. Was that Lucy in that video? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was. Yeah, okay. New club night of the year. And the winner is Chick Habit, with an honourable mention to TLC. Hi, I'm Chloe from Chick Habit. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for our award. I want to say thank you on behalf of Amy who runs the night. We've had some amazing acts like Heim, like churches, like Betty. Um, and the plan is for next year to have even more uh, bigger and better acts. So thank you very much. News service of the year. And the winner is Pink News. Professional Network of the Year. And the winner is the Gay Women's Network. And it's great that women can connect professionally as well as personally on the social scene. Published Author of the Year. And the winner is Stella Duffy with an honourable mention to VG Lee. Hello, I'm Stella Duffy and you are the people having a brilliant time celebrating Planet London this evening. I'm sorry I can't be with you. Thank you very much for this and I wish you all a really great night. Thank you. Bye bye. And it's great that these popular authors are still getting recognised um, and valued for their contributions to literature. Published Author of the Year, Independent. And the winner is Kiki Archer. Thank you very much. I am totally honoured to win the wonderful Ultimate Planet Independent Author of the Year. And thank you very much, Planet London. You do such a good job. I, I am honoured. I am thrilled. And the party is continuing this evening. Thank you, girls. I'm loving the fact that with the technology we have available now, women who are writing don't have to wait for a publisher mm -hmm. to think that their work may be good enough. They can get it out there themselves. And as a result, we're getting so many more books and the standards rising. It's just fantastic to be reading at the moment. Radio show of the year. And the winner is My Lesbian Radio, with an honourable mention to Out in South London. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you first, you say something and then I say something and then we'll say something together. Thank you, Planet London, for the award for Dutch Radio. And we have to thank Katie and Naomi for always promoting us and backing us and being behind us. Which is a very dangerous place to be. We want to thank you and the voters for this fantastic award. We are so honored to have been honored by your 15,000 votes to be chosen above Kathy DeBono and Rosie Wilby. We were in a category with some phenomenal nominees that basically we could stuff a sandwich and eat, we could eat them for as lunch. a meal. So here's one for the fat girls. This is for you, fat girl. This is for you. Don't let anybody tell you that it's great just to be nominated. It fucking rocks to win. Thank you for including us, and we'll see you again next year. Thank you. Thanks. Again, showing technology is the way forward. Absolutely. We're There's no able... barriers now to, to broadcasting. Exactly. And because of that, more and more shows are becoming available. Yep. Social group of the year.
and the winner is Elfest Solos. Only me. Um, thank you very much for voting um, Elfest Solos as the best social group of the year. Um, the Elfest Solos is a Facebook group where people can come, they can meet people before they actually go to the event. And then we have a fabulous area um, hosted by uh, Planet London. Thank you very much, girls. Um, so basically, no one is on their own at Elfest. Um, we've uh, had many people meet in there. They found their unicorn. Thank you, Effie May, for that definition. Um, so anybody who uh, wants, to, wants to go to Elfest and is on their own, have a look at our group. But thank you very much. It's a great group, and it's a great thing to be part of. Um, so thank you for all those that have voted. Hi, on behalf of everybody from the Elfest Solos Facebook page, I'd like to say thank you very much for this award. The Elfest Solo page has been a really good thing to be involved with over the last year and I've made some really good friends. So to get this award is really special. And thank you very much to Cindy and everybody at Elfest for bringing a, a wonderful festival to our attention. Thank you. And we've been lucky enough to be part of Elfest Solos this year and run some events at Elfest and Elfestive and kind of keep, keep entertaining the group really and, and making sure stuff happens with them. I think this group um, is really successful because they get together and mm -hmm. really the, the, the group own it. And actually the other group in the run-in, the South London Lesbians, is the same. Yep. They, they own their own group and they put on events they want to run. And, and there really is a space for connecting women who want to go out but don't have a lot of lesbian friends. It's the both great great groups theater of the year with a lesbian theme and the winner is rosie wilby's 90s woman with an honorable mention to the darling straight talking hi rosie wilby here Thanks, Planet London, for my award for Best Theatre. I'm sorry I can't be with you this evening, but I'm, I'm working on my next project. In Hollywood? <gasps> Look, there's Anne Hesh still running around after Ellen. I hope to catch up with you when I'm back in London town, but for now, cheers. There has been some amazing theatre this year in London. I mean, I can't believe how much we're getting. We're really lucky that we've got space to put these shows on yeah. and people are going to see them and it's just great. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you know, what comes next because it's really a growing area. More and more. I thought I saw Rosie in London the other day. She was definitely in London yesterday. That was a quick flight. Mm. <laughs> Lesbian friendly venue of the year. And the winner is Candy Bar, with an honourable mention to Retro Bar and Blush Bar. Now it's all changed with venues at the end of 2013. Everything is changing. With the Candy Bar closing, the lesbian bar scene is really changing. Mm -hmm. There are other changes, I think, taking place yeah. as well. But I think, actually, 2014, it means we're actually in a really good position. There's going to be lots of change, lots of new things, and I'm really excited. And I think, actually, this is the start of a good... Let's, let's hope so. Good venues for women that we want to be in. So watch this space. Volunteer of the Year. And the winner is Alana Higginson McDonald. Hi, this is AJ, and this is a really pleasant surprise. But this award is not about me. Throughout my illness, I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of help and support. So whether I'm on the top of Kilimanjaro, hosting a workshop, or visiting corrective rape victims in Africa, this is my way of giving just a little bit of that support back. So on behalf of the many women that we've helped so far, and especially from me, I thank you for voting and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Now again, I really, this category for me was very important because actually, because it's about the community, what's more about the community than the women themselves who just give their time? Absolutely. And I mean, that's not just for charity work, it's just giving their time across the board. I mean, well, we have, we have our planeteers yeah. who without them we couldn't do no. all the different things we do. and volunteering comes in all shapes and sizes and we just wanted to make sure there was an opportunity 
to for thank. those to have thanks Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Web series of the year. And unsurprisingly, the winner is Orange is the New Black. Right, Nikki, I know you've got something on you. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm going to have to search you. You know I have You've to already know. searched me for drugs. I don't have any. It's not the drugs I'm after. Ah, thank you to Planet London for the ultimate award because I've hidden it. And either I'm going to get to keep it, I'm going to have a lot of fun while she looks for it. Right, Nikki, normally I would put the gloves on for this, but I think two things is enough. Bend over. I'm not entirely sure that was definitely Orange is the New Black. I, I, I think it was. Really? I think if you look closely, you'll find it was. OK, then. <laughs> Youth Group of the Year. And the winner is Stonewall Housing. Thank you for our award from Stonewall Housing. We're very happy to be part of these celebrations. Stonewall Housing is also celebrating their own anniversary. We are 30 years. Yay! 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 <laughs> Stonewall Housing would like to celebrate 30 more years, so please remember us when you're donating to charities, as we also need your support. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And it's fantastic we're able to give thanks to all those charities and groups that are working hard for our younger generations. Woman of the Year. And the winner is Claire Balding, with an honourable mention to Paris Lees and Elfest runner Cindy Edwards. This category, I think, was a really good category. Now, we weren't so clear on what Women of the Year stood for, and that's because I think, mm. to different women, Women of the Year has a different meaning. But I think the diversity of nominees really shows... Great that it's not just celebrities. Yes, definitely. We would love to hear your feedback on the running of these awards, including any suggestions for new categories. In the pipeline for the 2014 awards already are additional categories Photographer of the Year, Reviewer of the Year, Drag King of the Year and Sports Group of the Year. What else would you like to see? Email your ideas to ultimateplanetawards at ultimate-planet.com. We will also be running our social community survey from January. Sign up to our newsletter or like our Facebook page to make sure you don't miss it. The anonymised results are shared with our sponsors and the community to help provide the best for the community. Also, for your hard work of filling out the questions, we have a prize draw with some amazing prizes, so you get a bit of thanks for letting us know what it is you want and what you think. And lastly, thanks. Thanks to everyone who nominated and took the time to discuss their reasons for nominating. We had some amazing like comments on a lot of the nominations um, and that really you know, takes time to write that and it's really useful in knowing why people are nominated. Thanks to everyone who voted. And thanks to Lemon Wedge Productions for sponsoring and facilitating these awards. Thanks to Candy Bar for showing awards on their screens. And for finally, thanks to everyone in the community for all of their hard work and dedication that you put into everything you do to help our community grow and thrive. And that includes our planeteers. It really doesn't go unnoticed. Until next year, goodbye from us. Bye. Bye.